Pune, Marathi pronunciation, Pew, English, winking face, formerly spelled Pune 1857 to 1978, is the second largest city in the Indian state of Maharashtra after Mumbai. It is the ninth most populous city in the country with an estimated population of 3.13 million. Along with its industrial twin Pimpri Chinchwad and the three cantonment towns of Pune, Kadki and Dihu Road, Pune forms the urban core of the eponymous Pune Metropolitan Region PMR. According to the 2011 census, the urban area has a combined population of 5.05 million while the population of the metropolitan region is estimated at 7.27 million. Situated 560 meters (1837 feet) above sea level on the Deccan Plateau on the right bank of the Mother River, Pune is also the administrative headquarters of its namesake district. In the 18th century, the city was the seat of the Peshwas, the prime ministers of the Maratha Empire and so was one of the most important political centers on the Indian subcontinent. Pune is ranked the number 1 city in India in ease of living ranking index. The city is considered to be the cultural capital of Maharashtra. It is also known as the Oxford of the East due to the presence of several well-known educational institutions. The city has emerged as a major educational hub in recent decades with nearly half of the total international students in the country studying in Pune. Research institutes of information technology, education, management and training attract students and professionals from India and overseas. Several colleges in Pune have student exchange programs with colleges in Europe. Pune is also an important centre for civil services training. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The earliest reference to Pune is an inscription on a Rashtrakuta dynasty copper plate dated 937 CE, which refers to the town as Punya Vishaya, meaning sacred news. By the 13th century, it had come to be known as Punawadi. Punavadi. History Early and medieval Copper plates dated 858 and 868 CE show that by the 9th century an agricultural settlement known as Panaka existed at the location of the modern Pune. The plates indicate that this region was ruled by the Rashtrakuta dynasty. The Pataleshwar rock-cut temple complex was built during this era. Pune was part of the territory ruled by the Sunna Yadavas of Devagiri from the 9th century to 1327. Bosail Jagger and the Maratha Empire Pune was part of the Jagger fiefdom granted to Maloji Bosail in 1599 for his services to the Nizamshahi Ahmadnagar Sultanate. Pune was ruled by the Ahmadnagar Sultanate until it was annexed by the Mughals in the 17th century. Maloji Bosail's grandson, Shivaji, the founder of the Maratha Empire, was born at Shivneri, a fort not far from Pune. Pune changed hands several times between the Mughals and the Marathas in the period 1660–1705. After the destruction of the town in raids by the Adil Shahi dynasty in 1630 and again between 1636 and 1647, Dadoji Khandio, the successor to Didfail, oversaw the reconstruction of the town. He stabilized the revenue collection and administrative systems of the areas around Pune and the neighboring Maval region. He also developed effective methods to manage disputes and to enforce law and order. The Lal Mahal was commissioned in 1631 and construction was completed in 1640 AD. Shivaji spent his young years at the Lal Mahal. His mother, Jijabai is said to have commissioned the building of the Kasbah Ganapati temple. The Ganesha idol consecrated at this temple has been regarded as the presiding deity, Gramadevada, of the city. From 1703 to 1705, towards the end of the 27 year long Mughal Maratha Wars, the town was occupied by Aurangzeb and its name was changed to Muhiabad. Two years later, the Marathas recaptured Sinhagad Fort, and later Pune, from the Mughals. Peshwa rule In 1720, Baji Rao I was appointed Peshwa Prime Minister of the Maratha Empire by Chhatrapati Shahu. 
He moved his base from Saswad to Pune in 1728, marking the beginning of the transformation of what was a kasba into a large city. He also commissioned the construction of the Shaniwar Wada on the right bank of the Mother River. The construction was completed in 1730, ushering in the era of Peshwa control of the city. Bajirao's son and successor, Nanasaheb constructed a lake at Katraj on the outskirts of the city and an underground aqueduct to bring water from the lake to Shaniwar Wada and the city. The aqueduct was still in working order in 2004. The patronage of the Maratha Peshwas resulted in a great expansion of Pune, with the construction of around 250 temples and bridges in the city, including the Lakdi Pul and the temples on Parvati Hill and many Maruti, Vithoba, Vishnu, Mahadeo, Rama, Krishna, and Ganesh temples. The building of temples led to religion being responsible for about 15% of the city's economy during this period. Pune prospered as a city during the reign of Nanasaheb Peshwa. He developed Saras Bog, Hira Bog, Parvati Hill and new commercial, trading, and residential localities. Sadashiv Peth, Narayan Peth, Rasta Peth and Nana Peth were developed. The Peshwa's influence in India declined after the defeat of Maratha forces at the Battle of Panipat but Pune remained the seat of power. In 1802 Pune was captured by Yashwantrao Holkar in the Battle of Pune, directly precipitating the Second Anglo-Maratha War of 1803–1805. The Peshwa rule ended with the defeat of Peshwa Bajirao II by the British East India Company in 1818. <laughs> British rule 1818 The Third Anglo-Maratha War broke out between the Marathas and the British East India Company in 1817. The Peshwas were defeated at the Battle of Kadki then spelled Kirki on 5 November near Pune and the city was seized by the British. It was placed under the administration of the Bombay Presidency and the British built a large military cantonment to the east of the city now used by the Indian Army. The Southern Command of the Indian Army was established in 1895 and has its headquarters in Pune Cantonment. The city was known as Pune during British rule. Pune Municipality was established in 1858. A railway line from Bombay to the city opened in 1858, run by the Great Indian Peninsula Railway (GIPR). Navi Peth, Ganj Peth, now renamed Mahatma Phool Peth, were developed during the British Raj. Centre of social reform and nationalism Pune was prominently associated with the struggle for Indian independence. In the period between 1875 and 1910, the city was a centre of agitation led by Gopal Krishna Gokhale and Bal Gangadhar Tilak. The city was also a centre for social reform led by Mahatma Jyotirao Phool, feminist Tarabai Shind, Dondo Keshav Karve and Pandita Ramabai. They demanded the abolition of caste prejudice, equal rights for women, harmony between the Hindu and Muslim communities, and better schools for the poor. Mohandas Gandhi was imprisoned at the Yerwada Central Jail several times and placed under house arrest at the Aga Khan Palace between 1942 and 1944, where both his wife Kasturba Gandhi and aide Mahadev Desai died. <laughs> Pune since Indian independence After Indian independence from the British in 1947, Pune saw enormous growth transforming it into a modern metropolis. The Pune Municipal Council was reorganised to form the Pune Municipal Corporation in 1950. The education sector in the city continued its growth in the post-independence era with the establishment of the University of Pune in 1949, the National Chemical Laboratory in 1950 and the National Defence Academy in 1955. The establishment of Hindustan Antibiotics in 1954 marked the beginning of industrial development in the Hadapsar, Basari, and Pimpri areas. MIDC provided the necessary infrastructure for new businesses to set up operations. In the 1970s, several engineering companies were set up in the city, allowing it to vie with Chennai. In the 1990s, Pune began to attract foreign capital, particularly in the information technology and engineering industries. IT parks were established in Ond, Hinjawadi and Wagholi. 
As a result, the city saw a huge influx of people to the city due to opportunities offered by the manufacturing, and lately, the software industries. The breach in the Panchet Dam and the resulting flood of 1961 led to severe damage and destruction of housing close to the river banks. The mishap spurred the development of new suburbs and housing complexes. To integrate urban planning, the Pune Metropolitan Region was defined in 1967 covering the area under PMC, the Pimpri Chinchwad Municipal Corporation, the three cantonments, and the surrounding villages. In 1998, work on the six lane Mumbai Pune Expressway began, it was completed in 2001. In 2008, the Commonwealth Youth Games took place in Pune, which encouraged development in the northwest region of the city. On 13 February 2010 a bomb exploded at the German bakery in the upmarket Corrigan Park neighborhood in eastern Pune, killing 17 and injuring 60. Evidence suggested that the Indian Mujahideen group carried out the attack. Geography <laughs> 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 Pune is situated at approximately 18 degrees 32 north latitude and 73 degrees 51 east longitude. The city's total area is 729 square kilometers, 281 square miles. By road, Pune is 2,063 kilometers, 1,282 miles southwest of Kolkata, 1,173 kilometers, 729 miles south of Delhi, 734 kilometers, 456 miles north of Bangalore, and 149 kilometers, 93 miles southeast of Mumbai. Pune lies on the western margin of the Deccan Plateau, at an altitude of 560 metres 1,840 feet above sea level. It is on the leeward side of the Sayadri mountain range, which forms a barrier from the Arabian Sea. It is a hilly city, with Vettel Hill rising to 800 metres 2,600 feet above sea level. The Sinhagad Fort is at an altitude of 1,300 metres 4,300 feet. The old city of Pune is at the confluence of the Mula and Mother rivers. The Pavana, a tributary of Mula River and Indriyani River, a tributary of the Bhima River, traverse the northwest suburbs of Pune. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Climate. Pune has a hot semi-arid climate type BSH bordering with tropical wet and dry type A with average temperatures ranging between 20 and 28 degrees Celsius 68 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Pune experiences three seasons, summer, monsoon, and winter. Typical summer months are from mid-March to mid-June, with maximum temperatures sometimes reaching 42 degrees Celsius 108 degrees Fahrenheit. The warmest month in Pune is May. The city often has heavy dusty winds in May, with humidity remaining high. Even during the hottest months, the nights are usually cool due to Pune's high altitude. The highest temperature recorded was 43.3 degrees Celsius .9 degrees Fahrenheit on 30 April 1897. The monsoon lasts from June to October, with moderate rainfall and temperatures ranging from 22 to 28 degrees Celsius 72 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Most of the 722 mm of annual rainfall in the city falls between June and September, and July is the wettest month of the year. Hailstorms are not unheard of. For most of December and January the daytime temperature hovers around 26 degrees Celsius 79 degrees Fahrenheit while night temperatures are below 9 degrees Celsius 48 degrees Fahrenheit, often dropping to 5 to 6 degrees Celsius 41 to 43 degrees Fahrenheit. The lowest temperature recorded was 1.7 degrees Celsius (35 degrees Fahrenheit) on the 17th of January 1935. Due to pollution, the city's winter temperature has warmed up by 6 degrees. Topic: <laughs> Seismology. Pune is 100 kilometers (62 miles) north of the seismically active zone around Koina Dam. The India Meteorological Department has assessed this area as being in Zone 3, on a scale of 2 to 5, with 5 being the most prone to earthquakes. Pune has experienced some moderate, and many low, intensity earthquakes in its history. Topic economy Pune has the eighth largest metropolitan economy and the sixth highest per capita income in the country. 
The key sectors of the local economy are education, manufacturing and information technology IT. Pune has historically been known as a centre for higher education and has been referred to as the educational capital of India. In 2006, it was reported that nearly 200,000 students from across India study in Pune at nine universities and more than a hundred educational institutes. The Kurloskar Group came to Pune in 1945 by setting up Kurloskar Oil Engines, India's largest diesel engine company, at Kadki. The group has several subsidiaries in Pune, including Kurloskar Nomatics and Kurloskar Brothers Limited, one of India's largest manufacturers and exporters of pumps and the largest infrastructure pumping project contractor in Asia. Automotive companies such as Bajaj Auto, Tata Motors, Mahindra and Mahindra, Mercedes Benz, Force Motors, Kinetic Motors, General Motors, Land Rover, Jaguar, Renault, Volkswagen, and Fiat have set up greenfield facilities near Pune, leading the independent to describe Pune as India's motor city. According to the Indo German Chamber of Commerce, Pune has been the single largest hub for German companies for the last 60 years. Over 225 German companies have set up their businesses here. Serum Institute of India, the world's fifth largest vaccine producer by volume, has a manufacturing plant located in Pune. In 2014-15, the manufacturing sector provided employment to over 500,000 people. The Rajiv Gandhi Infotech Park in Hinjawadi is a 600 rupees billion, 8.9 billion dollars project by the Maharashtra Industrial Development Corporation (MIDC). The IT park encompasses an area of about 2,800 acres 11 square kilometers and is home to over 800 IT companies of all sizes. Besides Hinjawadi, IT companies are also located at Magarpada, Karadi and several other parts of the city. As of 2017, the IT sector employs more than 300,000 people. Pune has also emerged as a new hub for tech startups in India. NASCOM, in association with MIDC, has started a co-working space for city-based startups under its 10,000 Startups Initiative at Karate MIDC. Pune Food Cluster Development Project is an initiative funded by the World Bank. It is being implemented with the help of Small Industries Development Bank of India, Clustercraft to facilitate the development of the fruit and vegetable processing industries in and around Pune. The meetings, incentives, conferencing, exhibitions trade is expected to be boosted since the Pune International Exhibition and Convention Centre (PIECC) opened in 2017. The 97-hectare PIECC boasts a seating capacity of 20,000 with a floor area of 13,000 square meters (139,931 square feet). It has seven exhibition centers, a convention center, a golf course, a five-star hotel, a business complex, shopping malls, and residences. The $115 million project was developed by the Pimpri Chinchwad New Town Development Authority. Topic. List of companies headquartered in Pune The following is a list of some companies that have their global or country headquarters in Pune or the surrounding area. Topic. Demographics The city has a population of 3,124,458, while 5,057,709 people reside in the Pune urban agglomeration as of the 2011 census. The latter was c. 4,485,000 in 2005. According to the Pune Municipal Corporation (PMC), 40% of the population lived in slums in 2001. Since Pune is a major industrial metropolis, it has attracted migrants from all parts of India. The number of people migrating to Pune rose from 43,900 in 2001 to 88,200 in 2005. The sharp increase in population during the decade 1991 to 2001 led to the absorption of 38 fringe villages into the city. The top five source areas of migrants are Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, and Rajasthan. The Sindhis in the city are mostly refugees and their descendants, who came to the area after the partition of India in 1947. Initially they settled in the Pimpri area, which is still home to a large number of Sindhi people. However, they are also present in other parts of the city. 
As agriculture has dwindled in recent decades, immigration of the erstwhile rural peoples now accounts for 70% of the population growth. Marathi is the official and most spoken language, while English, Hindi, and Kannada are spoken by a large part of the population. The average literacy rate of Pune was 86.15% in 2011 compared to 80.45% in 2001. Hinduism is the dominant religion in Pune. Other religions are Islam, Buddhism, Jainism, Christianity and Zoroastrianism. <inaudible> <inaudible> Urban structure The modern city of Pune has many distinct neighborhoods. These include the numerous paths of the old city on the eastern bank of the Mother River, the cantonment areas of Kadki and Pune camp established by the British, and numerous suburbs. The industrial growth in the Pimpri, Chinchwad and nearby areas allowed these areas to incorporate as the separate city of Pimpri Chinchwad. The Pune Metropolitan Region PMR, initially defined in 1967, has grown to 7,256.46 square kilometers made up of the 10 talukas of the Pune district. The twin cities of Pune and Pimpri Chinchwad along with the three cantonment areas of Pune, Kadki and Dihu Road form the urban core of the PMR, which also includes seven municipal councils and 842 villages. Rapid industrialization since the 1960s has led to large influx of people to the city. Housing supply has not kept pace with demand, causing the number of slum dwellings to increase. Approximately 36% of the population lives in 486 slum areas. Of these, 45% of slum households do not have in-house toilet facilities and 10% do not have electricity. One-third of the slums are on mixed ownership land. The living conditions in slums varies considerably, depending on their status formal, informal, and in how far non-governmental organizations NGOs, community organizations CBOs, and government agencies are involved and committed to improving local living conditions. Since the 1990s a number of landmark integrated townships and gated communities have been developed in the city such as Magarpada, Nanded, Amanora, Blue Ridge, Life Republic and Lavasa. They also offer business opportunities and access to infrastructure. According to the PMC, six townships with up to 15,000 housing units existed in Pune in 2012, and 25 more were in the planning process. The Mercer 2017 Quality of Living Rankings evaluated living conditions in more than 440 cities around the world and ranked Pune at 145, second highest in India after Hyderabad at 144. The same source highlights Pune as being among evolving business centers and as one of nine emerging cities around the world with the citation, hosts IT and automotive companies. The 2017 Annual Survey of India's City Systems ASICs report, released by the Janagraha Centre for Citizenship and Democracy, adjudged Pune as the best governed of 23 major cities. Paths in Pune Path is a general term in the Marathi language for a locality in Pune. Seventeen paths are located in Pune, which today constitute the old city of Pune. All were established during the Maratha Empire era under the Maratha and Peshwa rule of the city in the 18th century, before the arrival of the British. Seven of them are named after the days of the week in Marathi. Traders and craftsmen in a path mainly conducted business on that day of the week. Other paths are named after their respective founders. Government and public services Civic administration Pune Municipal Corporation is the civic body responsible for local government. It comprises two branches, the executive branch headed by the municipal commissioner, an IAS officer appointed by the government of Maharashtra, and an elected deliberative branch, the general body, headed by the mayor. Municipal elections are held every five years to elect councillors, commonly known as corporators, who form the general body. The current general body of the PMC elected in February 2017 has 162 corporators representing 41 wards 39 with four corporators each and two with three each. The general body, in turn, elects the mayor and the deputy mayor. 
The mayor has a ceremonial role as the first citizen and ambassador of the city while the actual executive power lies with the municipal commissioner. For policy deliberations, corporators form several committees. Perhaps the most important of these is the 16-member Standing Committee, half of whose members retire every year. The Standing Committee and the 15 Ward Committees are in charge of financial approvals. PMC was ranked 8th out of 21 Indian cities for best governance and administrative practices in 2014. It scored 3.5 out of 10 compared to the national average of 3.3.The Pune City Police Department is the law enforcement agency for the twin cities of Pune and Pimpri Chinchwad. It is a division of the Maharashtra Police and is headed by the Police Commissioner, an officer of the Indian Police Service. The Pune Police Department reports to the State Ministry of Home Affairs. A separate police commissionerate was announced for Pimpri Chinchwad in April 2018 to be carved out of Pune Police Department. The new commissionerate will take charge on 15 August 2018. Pune Metropolitan Region Development Authority PMRDA was formed on 31 March 2015 and is responsible for the integrated development of the PMR. Currently its jurisdiction extends over 7,256.46 square kilometers 2,802 square miles and includes two municipal corporations, three cantonment boards, seven municipal councils, 13 census towns and 842 villages. <laughs> Utility services The PMC supplies the city with potable water that is sourced from the Kadakwasla Reservoir. There are five other reservoirs in the area that supply water to the city and the greater metropolitan area. The city lacks the capacity to treat all the sewage it generates, which leads to the Mother River containing only sewage outside the monsoon months. In 2009, only 65% of sewage generated was treated before being discharged into the rivers. PMC is also responsible for collecting solid waste. Around 1,600 tons of solid waste is generated in Pune each day. The waste consists of 53% organic, compostable material, and 47% inorganic material, of which around half is recyclable. The unrecovered solid waste is transported to the dumping grounds in Urali Devachi. The state owned Maharashtra State Electricity Distribution Company Limited supplies electricity to the city. Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited BSNL, owned by the central government, as well as private enterprises such as Vodafone, Bharti Airtel, Reliance, Idea Cellular, Aircel, Tata Docomo, Tata Teleservices, Virgin Mobile, and MTS India, are the leading telephone and cell phone service providers in the city. Transport Topic. Public transport Public transport in Pune includes Pune Suburban Railway, bus services operated by PMPML and auto rickshaws. Online transport network companies such as Uber and Ola Cabs also provide rideshare and taxi services in the city. Construction of Pune Metro, an urban mass rapid transit system, is underway as of 2018. Topic. Rail Pune Suburban Railway electric multiple units popularly called local trains connect Pune to the industrial city of Pimpri Chinchwad and the hill station of Lanavala. Daily express trains connect Pune to Mumbai, Chennai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Nagpur, Tiruvanantapuram, Kochi, Coimbatore, Bangalore, Allahabad, Kanpur, Howrah, Jammu Tawi, Darbanga, Goa, Gwalior, Varanasi, Bhubaneswar, Ranchi, Patna, and Jamshedpur. At Pune, there is a diesel locomotive shed and an electric trip shed. Pune Railway Station is administered by the Pune Railway Division of Central Railways. Topic. Bus service Public buses within the city and its suburbs are operated by Pune Mahanagar Paravayan Mahamandal Limited PMPML. PMPML operates the Rainbow BRTS system, the first of its kind in India, in which dedicated bus lanes were supposed to allow buses to travel quickly through the city. 
The project has turned out to be a failure, receiving little patronage from the local citizenry. Maharashtra State Road Transport Corporation runs buses from stations in Shivajanagar, Pune Station, and Swargate to all major cities and towns in Maharashtra and neighbouring states. Private companies also run buses to major cities throughout India. <laughs> Metro Pune Metro, a mass rapid transit system, is under construction and is expected to be operational by 2021. The detailed project report was prepared for the initial two lines by Delhi Metro Rail Corporation which was approved by the state government in 2012 and by the central government in December 2016. Two lines, Line 1 from Pimpri Chinchwad to Swar Gate and Line 2 from Ramwadi to Vanas, with a combined length of 31.25 kilometres are being constructed by Mahametro, a 50-50 joint venture of the state and central governments. Line 1 will run underground between Swar Gate and Range Hills B and elevated until Pimpri Chinchwad. Line 2 will be completely elevated and will intersect Line 1 at the Civil Court Interchange Station in Shivajanagar. Line 3 between Hinjawadi and Civil Court, Shivajanagar was approved by the state and central governments in January and March 2018, respectively. This 23.3 km line is being implemented by PMRDA on a public-private partnership basis. <laughs> Road transport. Pune is well connected to other cities by Indian and state highways. National Highway 4 connects it to Mumbai, Bangalore and Kolhapur. National Highway 65 to Hyderabad, Suryapet, Vijayawada and National Highway 50 to Nashik. State highways connect Pune to Ahmednagar, Aurangabad and Alandi. Pune is served by three intra-city highways, Old Mumbai Pune Highway, Pune Satara Highway and Dihu Road Katraj Bypass, all part of National Highway 4. The Mumbai Pune Expressway is India's first six lane high speed expressway, and it was built in 2002. Only four wheeled vehicles are allowed on it. This expressway has reduced travel time between Pune and Mumbai to a little over two hours. A ring road is planned. <laughs> Personal transport Once known as the Cycle City of India, Pune has experienced a rapid growth in the number of motorized two-wheelers replacing the bicycle. In 2005 the city was reported to have one million two-wheelers. The report also stated that the increase in vehicular and industrial activity had led to a tenfold increase in particulate pollution in some areas of the city. A report published in 2016 estimated the number of two-wheeler users in Pune at 3.5 million. In 2018 the number of vehicles in the city has exceeded its population with 3.62 million total vehicles, 2.70 million being two-wheelers. In the fiscal year 2017-18 alone 300,000 new vehicles were registered in the city, two-thirds of them two-wheelers, a revival of cycling in Pune with 130 kilometers 81 miles of cycle tracks built was attempted as a part of the BRT system under the Jawaharlal Nehru National Urban Renewal Mission in 2004. However, a 2011 report revealed that only 88 kilometers 55 miles of tracks were actually built and most were unusable at the time of the report. Under the Smart Cities mission, app-based cycle sharing schemes have been launched in the city since late 2017. The PMC has devised the Pune Cycle Plan with 470 kilometers, 290 miles of cycle tracks planned. Cycles are also seen as a possible way of improving last mile connectivity for the metro system. Topic: Air Pune International Airport is an international airport at Lohagaon, operated by the Airports Authority of India. It shares its runways with the neighbouring Indian Air Force Base. In addition to domestic flights to all major Indian cities, the airport has international direct flights to Dubai, operated by Air India Express, and Frankfurt, operated by Lufthansa. A new international airport has been proposed, due to the limited capacity of the existing airport. A location in the Shakan Rajgaranagar area was chosen for the airport, but non-availability of land delayed the project for over a decade. 
In September 2016 the location was changed to Parandar, c. 20 km 12 miles south of the city. Healthcare Healthcare in the PMR is provided by private and public facilities. Primary care is provided by practitioners of Western as well as traditional alternative medicine i.e. Ayurveda, homeopathy and Unani. For minor and chronic ailments, people in the region have preference for practitioners of the traditional medicine. The PMR is served by three government hospitals, Sassoon Hospital, Budrani and Dr. Ambedkar Hospital. There are also a number of private hospitals such as Sayadri, Jahangir Nursing Home, Sancheti Hospital, Aditya Birla Memorial Hospital, Kem Hospital, Ruby Hall and Dhananath Mangeshkar Hospital. Education and research Pune has over a hundred educational institutes and more than nine deemed universities apart from the Savitribai Phool Pune University SPPU, formerly University of Pune, which is the second largest university in the country based on total number of affiliated colleges. Higher education institutes attract international students mainly from the Middle Eastern countries such as Iran, and United Arab Emirates, and also African countries such as Ethiopia and Kenya. Pune is the largest center for Japanese learning in India. Other languages taught in the city include German, which is taught at the Goethe Institute, and French, which is taught at Alliance Française. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Basic Education. The PMC runs 297 primary schools and 30 secondary and higher secondary schools. While it is mandatory for the PMC to provide primary education under state law, secondary education is an optional duty. In the rural and suburban areas of the PMR, public primary schools are run by the Pune Zilla Parishad. Private schools are run by education trusts and are required to undergo mandatory inspection by the concerned authorities. Private schools are eligible for financial aid from the state government. Public schools are affiliated to the Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education State Board. The language of instruction in public schools is primarily Marathi, although the PMC also runs Urdu, English and Kannada medium schools. Along with these languages, private schools also offer instruction in Hindi and Gujarati. Private schools vary in their choice of curriculum and may follow the state board or one of the two central boards of education, the CBSE or CISCE. University education Most colleges in Pune are affiliated to the SPPU. Nine other universities have also been established in the city. Pune also hosts the Military Intelligence Training School which offers diploma courses in counter-intelligence, combat intelligence, aerial imagery and interpretation, among others, the College of Engineering Pune, an autonomous institute of the government of Maharashtra founded in 1854, is the third oldest engineering college in Asia. The Deccan Education Society was founded by local citizens in 1884, including social and political activist Bal Gangadhar Tilak, who was also responsible for founding Ferguson College in 1885. The Indian Law Society's ILS Law College is one of the top ten law schools in India. The Armed Forces Medical College AFMC and BJ Medical College are among the top medical colleges in India. The AFMC consistently ranks among the top five medical colleges in India. The Film and Television Institute of India, one of only three Indian institutions in the global CILECT film school network, is located on Law College Road. The Lalit Kala Kendra is an undergraduate department of music, dance and drama on the SPPU campus that has been operational since 1987. This department features a combination of gurukul and formal education systems. Symbiosis International University operates 33 colleges and institutions in the city, including the Symbiosis Institute of Business Management, the Symbiosis Institute of Management Studies, the Symbiosis Center for Management and Human Resource Development, the Symbiosis Law School, and the Symbiosis Institute of International Business. They are ranked among the top management and law institutes in the country. 
The Symbiosis Institute of Computer Studies and Research is one of the few colleges in India that promotes open source technology. Topic: <laughs> Research Institutes. Pune is home to a number of governmental and non-governmental research institutes focusing on a wide range of subject areas from the humanities to the sciences. The Ministry of Defence also runs a number of defence-related education, training and research establishments in and around the city. Major research centres include, Agarkar Research Institute Ari, Armament Research Development Establishment Ard, Army Institute of Technology Eight, Automotive Research Association of India Arai, Bandarkar Oriental Research Institute Bori, Central Institute of Road Transport CIRT, Central Water and Power Research Station CW and PRS, Center for Development of Advanced Computing CDAC, Defence Research and Development Organisation Defence Institute of Advanced Technology Technology DIAT, National Defence Academy NDA, Gokhale Institute of Politics and Economics High Energy Materials Research Laboratory HEMRL, Indian Institute of Science Education and Research, Pune IISER, Pune Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology IITM, Scientists at IITM has made significant achievements in tropical weather Inter-University Centre for Astronomy and Astrophysics IUCAA, National Centre for Cell Science NCC CS National Center for Radio Astrophysics NCRA National Chemical Laboratory NCL one of the leading chemical research establishments in India National Informatics Center NIC National Institute of Bank Management NIBM National Institute of Construction Management and Research NICMAR India's most reputed institute for construction management National Institute of Virology NIV National School of Leadership NSL National Insurance Academy NIA Tata Research Development and Design Center TRDDC Topic Culture Topic Architecture Historical attractions include the rock-cut Padaleshwar Cave Temple, Aga Khan Palace, Shaniwarwada, Lal Mahal and Sinhagad Fort. Shin Chhatri, located at Wanauri, is a memorial dedicated to the great Maratha Sardar, Mahadaji Shind Sindhya. The city is also known for its British Raj bungalow architecture and the Garden City's movement layout of the cantonment from the early 20th century. Landmark architectural works by Christopher Charles Benninger surround the city, including the Mahindra United World College of India, the Centre for Development Studies and Activities, the YMCA Retreat at Nilshi and the Samundra Institute of Maritime Studies. <laughs> <laughs> Museums, parks and zoos Museums in Pune include the Raja Dinkar Kelkar Museum, Mahatma Phool Industrial Museum, Dr. Babasaheb Ambedkar Museum, Joshi's Museum of Miniature Railway and the Pune Tribal Museum. Pune also houses Blades of Glory Cricket Museum which is the biggest cricket museum in the world. The College of Military Engineering has an archive and an equipment museum, this includes a rail exhibit with a meter gauge train. The Aga Khan Palace, where Mahatma Gandhi was interned during the Quit India movement, has a memorial dedicated to his wife, Kasturba Gandhi who died here during the internment. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Museum of Indian History, a private museum built by Frenchman Francois Gautier opened its first phase in 2012. Parks and green spaces in the city include the Kamala Nehru Park, Sambhaji Park, Shahu Udian, Peshway Park, Saras Bagh, Empress Gardens, and Bund Garden. The Pu La Deshpand Udian is a replica of the Korakuen Garden in Okayama, Japan. The Hanuman Hill, Vettel Hill, and Taljai Hills are protected nature reserves on hills within the city limits. The Rajiv Gandhi Zoological Park is located in Katraj. The zoo, earlier located at Peshway Park, was merged with the Reptile Park at Katraj in 1999. <laughs> Performing arts Both experimental and professional theatre receive extensive patronage from the Marathi community. The Tilak Smarak Ranga Mandir, Bal Gandharva Ranga Mandir, Bharat Natya Mandir, Yashwantrao Chavan Natya Gruha, and Sudarshan Rangmanch are prominent theatres in the city. 
Ganesh Kala Krita Rangamanch is the largest indoor theater in the city, with a seating capacity of 45,000. The Sawai Gandharva Sangeet Mahatsav, one of the most prominent and sought-after Indian classical music festivals in India, is held in Pune every year in December. It commemorates the life and achievements of Sawai Gandharva. The concept of Diwali Pahat lit. Diwali Don originated in Pune as a music festival on the morning of the festival of Diwali. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Religious establishments and spirituality. The city is home to numerous religious establishments and places of worship for all religious groups residing in the city. These include Hindu temples, Jain temples, Gurdwaras, Buddhist viharas, mosques, churches, Jewish synagogues, and Zoroastrian fire temples. Of the many Hindu temples in the city, the temples on Parvati Hill and at least 250 others date back to the 18th century. These temples were commissioned by the Peshwas, who ruled the city at the time, and are dedicated to various deities including Maruti, Vithoba, Vishnu, Mahadeo, Rama, Krishna, and Ganesh. The historic temples of Kasbah Ganapati, the Red Jogeshwari and the Dulia Maruti are considered the guardian deities of the city. Pune area has two of the most important pilgrimage centers of the Varkari sect of the Bhakti movement in Maharashtra. These are the towns of Alandi where the Samadhi of 13th century Saint Dnyaneshwar is located and Dihu where the 17th century Saint Tukaram lived. Every year in the Hindu month of Ashad June, July, the Paduka symbolic sandals of these saints are carried in a pilgrimage, the Vari, to meet Vithoba. The procession makes a stopover in the city on its way to Pandharpur attracting hundreds of thousands of Varkaras and other devotees. Other important Hindu pilgrimage sites in PMR or the district include Jijari, and five of Ashtavanayak Ganesh temples. The Shrutisagar ashram houses the Vedanta Research Center and a unique temple of Dakshinamurthy. Prominent mosques include Chan Tara Masjid, Jama Masjid, and Azam Campus Masjid. Chan Tara Masjid, located in Nana Peth, is one of the biggest and most important mosques in Pune as it is the city headquarters Marcus for the Tablighi Jamaat. Pune is also the birthplace of Mare Baba, although his followers usually travel to Maharabad to visit his tomb. Hazrat Babajan, identified by Mare Baba as one of the five perfect masters, has a shrine Darga erected in her honor under a neem tree in Pune camp. The city has several churches dedicated to different Christian denominations including St. Anthony's Shrine, Dapati Church, etc. St. Patrick's Cathedral built in 1850 is the seat of the Bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Pune. Pune has Jain temples dating back to the Peshwa era. At present, there are more than 100 Jain temples in PMR with the one at Katraj being the largest. Pune has over 20 Gurdwaras, with Gurdwara Guru Nanak Darbar in Pune camp and Gurdwara Shri Guru Singh Sabha in Ganesh Peth being the ones situated in the heart of the city. The 19th century Ohel David Synagogue, known locally as Lal Deval, is said to be one of the largest synagogues in Asia outside Israel. The Sir Jamsetji Jajiboy Ajieri is a prominent Zoroastrian temple. Pune has been associated with several significant recent spiritual teachers. The controversial Guru Osho, formerly the self-styled Bhagwan Rajneesh, lived and taught in Pune for much of the 1970s and 1980s. The Osho International Meditation Resort, one of the world's largest spiritual centers, is located in Koragon Park and attracts visitors from over a hundred countries. The Meditation Resort organizes music and meditation festival every year during monsoon, known as Osho Monsoon Festival. Number of well-known artists around the world participates in the event. Media A number of Marathi-language newspapers from the British era continued publishing decades after independence. These included Kesari, Tarun Bharat, Prabhat and the politically neutral Saikal. Saikal has remained the most popular Marathi daily. Kesari is now only published as an online newspaper. Mumbai-based Maharashtra Times, Laksata and Lakmat have all introduced Pune-based editions in the last 15 years. The Mumbai-based popular English newspaper The Indian Express has a Pune edition. Its rival The Times of India introduced a tabloid called Pune Mirror in 2008. Midday, Daily News and Analysis and Sakal Times are other local English newspapers. 
The English language newspaper The Hindu has launched a Pune edition covering local as well as national news. The government owned All India Radio Air has been broadcasting from Pune since 1953. Savitri Bai Phool Pune University broadcasts programs focusing on its different departments and student welfare schemes on its own FM radio channel called Vidyavani. A number of commercial FM channels are also received in the city. The city receives almost all of the television channels in India including broadcast, cable and direct to home TV. Topic: Sport. As a matter of historic interest, early on the game of badminton was also known as Pune or Pune after the then British garrison town of Pune where it was particularly popular and where the first rules for the game were drawn up in 1873. Games employing shuttlecocks have been played for centuries across Eurasia, but the modern game of badminton developed in the mid 19th century among the British as a variant of the earlier game of battledore and shuttlecock. Battledore was an older term for racket. Popular games and sports in Pune include athletics, cricket, basketball, badminton, field hockey, football, tennis, kabaddi, paragliding, ko ko, rowing, and chess. The Chhatrapati Shivaji Stadium in Mangalwar Peth is the venue for wrestling and other traditional sports. The Royal Connaught Boat Club is one of several boating clubs on the Mula Mother River. Pune has basketball courts at the Deccan Gymkhana and at Ferguson College. Pune Skate Park is a skateboarding park built in Sahakarnagar, consisting of an 8 foot bowl in a 3,000 square foot flat ground. Other prominent sporting institutions in Pune include the Nehru Stadium, the PYC Hindu Gymkhana, the Pune Golf Club, and the Pune Cricket Club. The Pune International Marathon is an annual marathon conducted in Pune. The National Games of 1994 and the 2008 Commonwealth Youth Games were held in the city at the Bailwadi Stadium. The Deccan Gymkhana has hosted Davis Cup matches on several occasions. The 37,000 seating capacity Maharashtra Cricket Association Stadium has hosted international cricket, T20s, one-day internationals, and a test match. The National Education Foundation organizes Enduro 3, a cross-country adventure race in Pune. It is a two- or three-day event with activities including cycling, trekking, river crossing and rifle shooting. Pune Race Course was built in 1830 on 118.5 acres 0.480 square kilometers of land and is managed by the Royal Western India Turf Club. The course has two training tracks and two racing surfaces. The racing season is from July to October every year and includes major racing events the Pune Derby, the RWITC Invitational, the Independence Cup and the Southern Command Cup. The city has also hosted the 2009 FIVB Men's Junior World Championship. Topic: Teams. The Maharashtra Cricket Team, one of the 3 teams of the Maharashtra Cricket Association that compete in interstate matches and leagues such as the Ranji Trophy, is based in the city. Pune Warriors India 2011 to 2014 and Rising Pune Super Giant 2016-2017 were the two teams based in Pune to play in the Indian Premier League. Pune District Football Association PDFA was established in 1972 and currently has more than 100 registered teams. FC Pune City is an Indian Super League football club in Pune. Established in 2014, FC Pune City became the only professional football club in India to have teams which participated at all levels of professional football, senior team ISL, U18 team I-League U18, U16 team, U14 team and the women's team. The city is home to the Pune Peshwas, runners-up in the 2015 UBA Pro Basketball League season. Pune also has an American football franchise, called the Pune Marathas, which began playing in the inaugural season of the Elite Football League of India in 2011 and which plays at the Bailwadi Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> International relations World Trade Center WTC Pune is a 1.6 million sq feet, infrastructure to foster international trade. WTC Pune is part of the World Trade Centers Association. Twin towns and sister cities San Jose, CA, United States, 1992. Vaco is Phoenix, Mauritius informal relationship. 
Bremen, Germany. Topic. See also. Culture of Pune. List of people from Pune. List of tourist attractions in Pune. Pune Mahanagar Paravayan Mahamandal Limited. Pune Metro. Chhatrapati Sambhaji Rajay International Airport